Hi, and welcome to Discover Oklahoma. I'm Lauren Nelson. And I'm Dino Alali. Today we're coming to you, I'm so excited, from the brand new beautiful lodge at Lake Murray State Park. An absolutely stunning location that's now open and taking reservations. The new lodge features a lakeside view from every single room and group stays have never been easier or in nicer accommodations than the three buildings named after songbirds, the meadow lark, the mockingbird, and of course, the scissor tail. In fact, one group was lucky enough to actually christen the new lodge, if you will. Lisa and Anderson shows us the ladies who were first in line. From the moment you pull up to the Grand Circle Drive of the new Lake Murray Lodge, you know you're entering a new era in tourism for the state of Oklahoma. It's like, wow, it opened it all up. It's scenic, you can see the lake from the time you drive up until you come in here to book your room or book your pod or, and you're already booked up. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's great. And the first view you see when you walk in the front doors, the peaceful, calm water of Lake Murray. The same view you'll get from every room inside the new state-of-the-art travel destination. I took a picture and sent it to my husband out the, our balcony and said, no, I'm not on a cruise ship. As far as I'm concerned, we are the diamond in the state parks, and I plan on keeping it that way. Michael Cooley is the manager of the new Lake Murray Lodge. He has watched as the dirt turned, the foundation poured, and the dream turned into reality, down to the tiniest of details. You'll see the, the facings on our furniture. This is metal, it is zinc. And the company who, who produced this for us took sheets of zinc, put it out in the sun, they threw acid on it until they got the look they wanted. With exquisite large photos in every room of various locations around the lake, the new lodge has 32 new rooms, king and double queens. The bathrooms are designed with precision tile work and inset lighting. Every effort used to conserve energy with LED lighting. And then there's this. As you can see, this is your view. And um, those locals from Ardmore know that the Chamber of Commerce, that clearing right over there, is where the fireworks are shot. And when you visit the new Lake Murray Lodge, check out the new restaurant, the Blue Heron, here on the property. You can have a quick bite to eat, or you can sit down, have a nice dinner in front of the double-sided fireplace that leads out to the patio, all the while overlooking gorgeous Lake Murray. This is the only restaurant in this area of the country that you can sit on the lakeside patio, um, have lunch, have dinner, whatever, it's, it's lit at night. Um, the view is good, there's the fireplace. And the Blue Heron, which is named after a bird you'll find in its natural habitat at Lake Murray, serves everything from your basic breakfast, a burger, to a steak made just like you'd like it. And you can enjoy it all with a glass of wine, maybe a beer, as the sun sets on the water. But what may be the most exciting of all about the new lodge is its potential for the future. With 57 cabins on the property, all remodeled or in the process of being remodeled to their late 1940s and 50s grandeur, the plans for even more and larger cabins in phase two, yeah, they're not done yet, to the ballrooms and meeting rooms, which can accommodate anywhere to a handful of guests, to a corporate meeting of 300. All of our meeting rooms either have 60 inch TV, fully function with USB, cable, HDMI, and our grand ballroom, we have two different um, projectors and screens and with, with 12 foot screens. So you can definitely see what you're looking at. That is something that I believe all of us are really keying into is, is that weekday, that business. I want to be known as a convention center for Ardmore and Lake Murray. I really do, and, and, and we definitely have the facilities to make it happen. First time I've ever been here, and it's just beautiful. I just couldn't believe that this was a state park. I mean, it's the, the facility is beautiful, and I think it's going to be a great place to teach. Can you come back? Sure, I'd love to come back. Even those with memories of the old lodge love the update. We were a little bit... Uh, apprehensive because yes. we we liked it it was close it was comfortable and nostalgic yes. some of us had our high school 
proms here and you, did you yes really? so it was nice mm -hmm. you had your high school prom here so I, don't ask me what year but it was <laughs> from the four-star quality accommodations to the restaurant and the view the new Lake Murray Lodge in Ardmore is ready to make its mark in southern Oklahoma and the locals say come on down. I've even got old friends in northern Oklahoma that came down to the old lodge so I'll be able to tell them now that oh wait till you see the new stuff. Yes ma'am. Discovering Oklahoma at the new Lake Murray Lodge in Ardmore. I'm Lisanne Anderson. Lake Murray Lodge is now accepting reservations for spring break, summer trips, anytime really. Head to our website travelok.com and click on state parks to reserve your room today. And from the beauty of the great Oklahoma outdoors to the history of the American West. That's right, stunning photographs of old Hollywood names like John Wayne are drawing lots of attention at one of our state's most beloved museums. Now this is an exhibit you know I would have to check out. It's called Hollywood and the American West and that's at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. I can't think of any other film genre closest to American sensibilities than the Western. And of course, the setting truly makes the Western different. If you want to see an even more unique perspective of Westerns, then the Hollywood and American West exhibit at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum will do the trick. The exhibit was organized by John Wayne Enterprises and the John R. Hamilton Archives. And it features 68 of Hamilton's photographs and some of his equipment. And he started out as a photojournalist after World War II and then received his first film assignment in 1956 on The Searchers. So that sort of launched him uh, on a different trajectory. And the photos that visitors will see uh, span five decades of his work on Western film. The photos essentially reflect three different elements, the first being a behind-the-scenes aspect of movie making, what people did between takes to relax or decompress. Then there are some that are more artistic, um, some cowboys that are backlit uh, by a sunset. And then you also have some that document the logistics, uh, the conditions. How do you feed a crew of 200 in Monument Valley for lunch? Um, or how do you film uh, a stagecoach sequence? I found this exhibit to be fascinating on several levels. First, you'll see 68 photographs from an archive that is close to 100,000. It's easy to get caught up in one of the variety of photos on display from Dean Martin, Kevin Costner, director John Ford, Gregory Peck, Kirk Douglas, Steve McQueen, and John Wayne on the set of El Dorado with his young son, Ethan. There are numerous photos of John Wayne, and this one of Paul Newman catches your attention. And, and that's actually my favorite in the exhibit. Um, and it's called The New Yorker because of what he's reading. Uh, and I love that it's very minimal. Uh, you know, it's an actor, in this case, a very young Paul Newman, uh, a Spartan dressing room, a magazine, and a book of matches, and that's it. But it automatically pulls you in to Newman's world, and I think that's where Hamilton really excelled. You'll see a few photos of John Hamilton himself, as well as displays of some of the equipment he used over the years. This exhibit, of course, greatly complements ones at the Cowboy right now. People who have come to the museum are probably familiar with our Western Performers Gallery, and, and we have a good deal of props and sets, costumes from Western films, particularly John Wayne. And I think for us this was a natural fit, Hollywood and the American West. And there are exhibits called The Artistry of the Western Paperbacks, and A Yard of Turkey Red, The Western Bandana, and Power and Prestige, Headdresses of the American Plains. Michelle Holloman says she likes the uniqueness of the John Hamilton, Hollywood, and the American West exhibit. I feel like there's a lot of paintings and sculptures, and having the photography, I think, appeals more to a younger crowd, maybe. And it's interesting to see behind the scenes and the personalities of the actors instead of the people they play in the movies. Movies often repeat themselves, but there will always be an audience as long as the films themselves are well made. In a culture industry fueled by formula, no genre has been more important to Hollywood than the Western. And with that, an appreciation of the Western genre will live forever with exhibits like this. Hollywood in the American West is on display for a limited time only. It will be leaving the Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum on May the 14th, and you can take in the photographs as part of your regular admission to the museum. Coming up on Discover Oklahoma. I like that she can 
almost take the spirit of that person and it shows through in her artwork. We'll meet a Western Oklahoma woman who's bringing new life to the art scene in our state. We also um, feature a lot of items from uh, local vendors, not just from Oklahoma, but from the Choctaw area. And the hot spot to shop with made in Oklahoma goods just waiting to be discovered. We have people come from Alaska, Minnesota. And you won't believe how far some folks travel to find the best burgers. It's all ahead right here on Discover Oklahoma. Great travel tips anytime. Like Discover Oklahoma on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Truthfully, the teacher that probably shaped me the most was Angus McIntyre. And he would say, you don't get praise for doing what you're supposed to do because you're supposed to do it. You get praise for doing more than you're supposed to do, which was probably the most important lesson that I ever learned. And you know, uh, as a parent, you always hope you're going to be that person that imparts these great lessons to your kids. But thank goodness we get lots of help raising our kids from people like Angus McIntyre. The Rhythm and Roots Music Trail is your front row seat to excitement. Hit the road to explore rock, blues, country, all of Oklahoma's rich music heritage. Order your free guide at TravelOK.com. Welcome back to Lake Murray State Park. You're looking at the recently completed an entirely new lodge. And it's all about the lake here. Every single lodge room offers a view of a beautiful Lake Murray. There is so much natural beauty to enjoy here at Lake Murray and the rooms are gorgeous too. Yes, they are. Now up in Woodward though, it's beautiful works of art that's captivating the eyes of a lot of folks and Tina McGarry tells us why. I consider myself a realist painter. I like to do very detailed, very detailed work if you look. For Susan Frack Sims, life is a canvas. She's the artist, talented, imaginative, creative. Her gift was recognized early on. Uh, I always had crayons, pencils, colored pencils, coloring books, <laughs> paper. Uh, the first time I can recall somebody telling me you need to keep doing this was my great grandmother. And I was about five. I had drawn her a rose and she told me I was talented and, and it just kind of clicked. Oh, I was good at something and I just kept doing it. And this lifelong artist has created the life of her dreams. The Susan Freck Sims Art Gallery and Studio opened three years ago. It's Susan's home away from home. She spends her days at the easel and stroke by delicate stroke, she brings her work to life using a number of mediums. I like to do watercolor, acrylic, oil, dry brushed oil on watercolor paper, pencil. I like that she can almost take the spirit of that person and it shows through in her artwork because the gleam that she puts in their eye is a gleam that they have, you know, and so it makes you feel like you're actually looking at perhaps a, a photograph rather than the pencil work. It is so detailed and so exact. That's what I liked about it. I love the attention to detail. It's, um, I've, I've seen multiple times, you know, when she's posted photos of her artwork on Facebook or, you know, just shared it with people, they always say, this looks like a photograph, like this can't possibly be a painting. Her work boasts beauty and variety, featuring all kinds of animals, breathtaking and colorful landscapes, lifelike portraits, as well as amazing abstracts. Uh, I have even some abstracts that I've kind of been playing with nebula style that I, I like to add metallic acrylic paints to that I do the the acrylic mostly the landscapes that are layered it's a transparent layering process so I'll have 40 to 50 plus layers of paint on some of them those are very time consuming I don't get to do those very often Susan's work is a labor of love and the result of God-given talent and stroke by stroke, this Oklahoma artist is living her dream. I get to paint all day long. <laughs> There's nothing more exciting for me than to pick up that paintbrush and start a new project or that last finishing touch on a piece. It's, it's exciting and each, each painting that leaves, it's kind of like your child is being carried out the door because <laughs> you've spent so much time 
and, and you know, imagination on it. In my hometown, Woodward, I'm Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma. Susan's Gallery is located at 915 West Main Street in Woodward. You can find out more information on her Facebook page or at her website. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. You can come and get your hair done and then when you're done you can go shopping. So <laughs> kind of the best of, best of both worlds. See the Central Oklahoma Beauty Bar and Boutique that has shoppers raving. Everything is just like they did in 1957. The same way we slice our onions, the same way we season everything the same way we make the slaw. And the lunch spot that hasn't changed a thing in, oh, 60 years. Why they keep coming back to this burger place coming up right here on Discover Oklahoma. Open seven days a week, 365 days a year. Oklahoma state parks are stocked with cool weather adventures. Hike the trails amid spectacular scenery, cozy up around the fire, or play around on our unique courses. On weekdays, you can stay and play starting at just $69. You get one night of lodging, a round of golf, and a sleeve of golf balls. Get package details at TravelOK.com slash SPDeals and come see for yourself. Oklahoma Today magazine brings you stunning photography and authentic award-winning stories of home from Oklahoma. The only magazine that covers the entire state, Oklahoma Today showcases what we love about Oklahoma, bringing to you the very best of its people, places, culture, history, and of course, its legendary food. This holiday season, give the gift of Oklahoma Today to family and friends for just $14.95. Visit tvoffer.oklahomatoday.com. You're looking at the view from the Blue Heron restaurant here at the new Lake Murray Lodge. Indoor seating for up to 70 people and water view right out over the lake. And of course it won't be long before the lake and the lodge and the restaurant will just be hopping with people. That's right, but there's another place that's packing people in right now. It's a unique shop and hair salon in Choctaw. Tiffany Tatros takes us there. The Firefly Cottage Boutique in Choctaw has something for everything. Whether it's clothes you're looking for or home decor, they've got you covered. When you come to the Firefly Cottage Boutique, it's like coming to catch up with an old friend. Okay, so did you give the slippers? Yes. How did you love them? Did. Yes. Good. An old friend and her dog. Billy's my rescue. Uh, we rescued her uh, back in the fall, and she comes with me every day. She is the door greeter. The Choctaw Boutique is stocked with the latest trends in women's fashion for ladies of all sizes. We do offer um, boutique style plus size women's clothing. Styles range from the latest must-haves to keeping it local with Choctaw and Oklahoma inspired items. I try to go for um, things that you wouldn't necessarily find in uh, your big shopping stores. It's not just the clothes that lure people in. The store has a wide variety of jewelry, handbags, and accessories, not to mention the incredible selection of home decor. We offer um, anywhere from um, antiques, uh, furniture, handmade furniture, um, home decor. Uh, we, we try to have a little bit of everything. But what really sets the Firefly Cottage Boutique apart is the personalized customer service you'll get from the owner, Lauren Sullivan. I mostly love coming in to see Lauren because she's so nice and great with everyone, but I love everything about her store. The owner, Lauren's really nice and, you know, just uh, fun to be around and, you know, talk to and we are in here and so it's just a really warm place to come to. Really warm and really inexpensive. The boutique prides itself on keeping things affordable. Keeping your prices uh, reasonable is important. Um, you want your customers to keep coming back. And uh, if, if you're able to keep your price point at a good price, they're going to keep coming back. They also keep it local. We also um, feature a lot of items from uh, local vendors, not just from Oklahoma, but from the Choctaw area. The store has a salon to pamper yourself after a hard day. You can come and get your hair done, and then when you're done, you can go shopping. So <laughs> kind of the best of, best of both worlds. With so much to choose from, it's rare to see a customer leave empty-handed. 
there's so many cute things it's hard to pick just one thing you know do, you know do I want do I want to get some clothes today or do I want to get something to decorate with or um, some jewelry there's just so many different options to wear things for my home things for my kids uh, jewelry it's great she has something for everyone whether it's clothes accessories home decor or just to be greeted by a furry face the Firefly Cottage Boutique is your one-stop shop in Choctaw. If you want to come check out the shop, you'll find them on 29th and Henny. In Choctaw, Tiffany Tatro, Discover Oklahoma. If you're looking for Oklahoma-owned spots to shop or maybe trying to find that oaky themed gift for someone, we can help you out. Just go to our website, TravelOK.com, and type shopping into the search bar. Up next on Discover Oklahoma. They're famous for hamburgers. Yeah, get them, in, get them any way you want them. Burgers so juicy folks drive hundreds of miles just to taste them. We'll show you where when Discover Oklahoma continues. The Oklahoma Travel Guide is filled with festive events and iconic attractions, outdoor wonders, and the hottest places to eat and stay. It's the perfect roadmap to unforgettable adventures. Order your free Oklahoma Travel Guide today at TravelOK.com. Open seven days a week, 365 days a year, Oklahoma's great state parks are stocked with cool weather adventures. Hike the trails amid spectacular scenery. Cast your line in gorgeous lakes and rivers. Cozy up around the fire or settle in under the stars. Book your stay at a state park cabin or lodge. Check in Sunday or Monday and get your fourth night absolutely free. Get all the details at TravelOK.com slash SPDeals and come see for yourself. Map out your next adventure in the Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Discover amazing natural treasures, cozy campsites, cabins and lodges, unforgettable activities, and more. It's all in the free Oklahoma Outdoor Guide. Get yours at TravelOK.com. The hum of the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And the waving wing. Can't you smell sweet when the wind comes right behind the rain? We know we belong in the land. And the land is grand. And we're saying, I am being with you. We're only saying, you're doing fine. Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, come see for yourself. And taking another look at the brand new Lake Murray Lodge. 32 lodge rooms in the main building and three group buildings sleeping eight or 16 people. And the folks here at the park are boasting about new fishing and swimming docks, campgrounds, and of course an incredible fitness center. And we may need a trip to that fitness center after this next stop. It's one of my family's favorite places to grab a burger. It's J&W Grill in Chickasha. J&W Grill in Chickasha has almost 60 years of great burgers and fabulous service under its belt, and it's still going strong. Everything is like they did in 1957, the same way we slice our onions, the same way we season everything, the same way we make the slaw. I mean, our thing is just staying consistent. Everything that we do, our produce, everything is done on a daily basis, so nothing's made up in advance or pre-done. We do it by hand every day. Our fries, we cut fresh every day. J&W Grill is a popular place to come for lunch, as you can tell. We talked to a few folks. Let's see what they have to say about what to order. I would suggest they get the fried onion burger with cheese if you like cheese. Or the chili dog. And the coney with everything. Or the coney with everything. They're famous for hamburgers. Yeah. Get them, in, get them any way you want them. Bill Lambrecht is a lifelong Chickasha resident and has quite a history with J&W Grill. I was here the first day this store opened, yes. I come here at least three times a week. They have folks come from all over for the famous fried onion burgers and other delicious eats on the menu. We have people come from Alaska, Minnesota, and almost every single one of these people here at this counter right now are regulars. And it's not just the burgers people crave at J&W Grill. Our conies, we have a homemade slaw that goes with it. It's a cabbage relish, and it is really good. Um, but it's made to especially go with our chili, but a lot of customers eat it on their burgers. And if you're in town earlier in the day, they have awesome breakfast too. So as you're planning your next trip to Southwest Oklahoma, be sure to include J&W Grill as one of your stops. For the best fried onion burgers around and the best customer service around. Now here's what you need to know before you go. 
First, J&W Grill is closed on Sundays. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, they're open 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and they stay open until 9 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. No matter where your next road trip takes you, the Discover Oklahoma Dining Guide will help you find a great place to eat. Just log on to our website, TravelOK.com, and click on where it says free brochures to get your copy. A special thank you to our friends here at Lake Murray State Park for hosting us this week. We want to congratulate them on all the hard work that went into building the beautiful new lodge and so many more amenities here at the Lake Murray State Park. If you're interested in booking a visit, call 800-257-0322 for reservations. Coming up next Saturday on Discover Oklahoma, a totally different kind of float trip. Get ready for a relaxing and definitely unique experience. And some of the best burgers in the state, the restaurant that's packing them in. That's next Saturday night right here on Discover Oklahoma. So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma.